वेलकम एवरी वन इन थियोरी ऑफ फॉर्म द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैव इज नेचर ऑफ फॉर्म नाउ वेन वी लर्न द नेचर ऑफ फॉर्म द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू नो इज वॉट इज अ फॉर्म हियर वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ थ्योरीज वन इज द ट्रेडिशनल थ्योरी ऑफ फॉर्म अनादर वन इज द मॉडर्न थ्योरी ऑफ फॉर्म अकॉर्डिंग टू द ट्रेडिशनल थ्योरी ऑफ फॉर्म फॉर्म इज अ यूनिट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन नाउ प्रेजेंस ऑफ वन फॉर्म और अ मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ फॉर्म्स इज द बेस ऑफ अ मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल थ्योरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द न्यू क्लासिकल थ्योरी वॉट वी हैव नॉट लर्न येट इज द मॉडर्न थ्योरी इट डिस्क्राइब्स वाई फॉर्म्स अराइज इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज the post new classical post new classical theory according to the traditional theory there is a free market economy and it believes basically on the adam smith's laissez faire economy that is the theory of invisible hand so one person cannot be made better off without making another person worse off on the other hand the modern theory based on semi anarchic institution of market so the individual's decision making affects the aggregate outcome this theories have tried to analyze that what happens inside the black box which is called farm they also tried to study the intra farm behavior next we have the difference between market and farms which is also known farms which is also known as corporation now many economist they have um, differentiated market and farms on different basis according to ronald coase market and farms can be differentiated based on price mechanism simon have differentiated market and firms based on relationship of authority putterman have different has differentiated market and firms based on seven different themes alchin alchin and demets have differentiated market and firms based on transaction now let us see the difference between market and firms we know that market is a place where consumers and producers are exchanging goods and services with each other so here all the economic agents be it a producer or consumer they are free which means no one is giving them instruction they can take their own decision while they are exchanging goods and services they can take their own decision so there is no higher authority to give them instruction that is point 1 number 2 excess demand and excess supply situation it can be adjusted through change in prices that is price of goods are adjusted prices of goods are adjusted and that is how demand supply is maintained so there exist price mechanism in the market and there is no authority in the market now in firms sales and purchase of commodity cannot be done in the market so there is no price mechanism in the firm also in a firm we have employees that is the workers and managers which means employers here the workers are not free to take their own decisions they have to listen to their managers they have to take they have to follow the instructions of the managers so there is a hierarchy so there is higher authority to give the workers instructions